Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dippachu Guy, and this is the 24th review of the Bubblegum Diaries playlist. So, this is review number 24, and we will be taking a look at this guy. And right off the bat, this guy, there are some problems with this. This is Hubba Bubba's Seriously Strawberry. This is UK market. Hubba Bubba coming from Mars Wrigley of Dublin, Ireland. So we will be taking a look at it at the desk and you will see what the problem is. That said, that all said, it's a good product. It's got one major flaw that's just a flaw, but it's a labeling issue, all right? Hint probably had I not bought a case of it not would have ended up on the this playlist if I had been able to buy a pack locally and try it out anyway let's move over to the desk okay and we are back and you are looking at a five piece pack of Hubba Bubba uh, the packs that we all in America anyway Remember, as kids, uh, Hubba Bubba came in a pack like this, Bubblicious, so on and so forth. So, this, however, is coming out of the Mars Wrigley's processing facility in Dublin, Ireland. Thus, the somewhat odd, at least us, wording, chunky and bubbly. Okay. Uh, Wrigley's is denoted now... Keep in mind that Hubba Bubba has always been a Wrigley's product, at least in the United States and evidently in the UK. That said, Hubba Bubba as a brand is licensed out in other countries, Southeast Asia, etc. And although a lot of them may be pulling back in underneath the Mars branding or the Wrigley's Mars branding, I am not sure about all of them. So anyway, front's pretty pretty straightforward. Seriously, strawberry. All right. Whole bunch of stuff. It is interesting to note up at the top here. Now this, Mars Foods Ireland is right at my fingertip there. All right. Um, but this top part up here, like these first four lines for whatever reason, are in Greek. <laughs> and there's like no explanation as to why. Now, down underneath Mars Food Ireland here is the first red flag because it says chewing gum with strawberry flavor. The flavor you're saying is spelled wrong. No, that's how you actually spell flavor in civilized countries except for us chewing gum okay so you have that you have this chunky and bubbly you got two ends that are folded this one's coming a little crimp as i said this came in an 18 pack case so i'm not really worried about an end being like that i for all i know did that myself under the barcodes here on these you had the little lift tab Everybody's familiar with that. And here you go. Now, when I went to open this originally, number one, it's folded properly. Take note, Germany. Um, I was expecting that there would be no color. Okay, it would be white like the original that I did a few weeks ago. And that is sort of the case. The thing is, though, I don't know how well that's going to be showing. There are red dots. This is the second red flag. That and the product, although similar white-wise as the, the product being white, as the regular of a few weeks ago, the regular did not have any dots in it, and it did not have the feel of this. 
This feels tacky and somewhat wax-like, and that is only going to get more pronounced once it goes in my mouth. The dots. The dots is a red flag to me because, number one, I've never seen bubble gum with anything like that, but I have seen chewing gum. Uh, the dessert flavored Trident. Now, Trident is not made by Wrigley, um, but Orbit is. And Orbit does have a strawberry. So, anyway, I'm going to throw this in. I'm going to get another piece out here and throw that in. And then I'm going to get another piece out. I'm kidding. Back in a second. And we're back. And the mic's on. So yay me. Um, the flavor is really, really good. But it's not quite just strawberry. It's almost like strawberry shortcake like a strawberry bakery product. And whatever they've done, I don't know if it's cornstarch or whatnot, it makes the mouth water quite a bit. But then the problems arise. One, it feels very waxy in the mouth. It also feels like it wants to separate and start going everywhere. Like it's almost going partially fluid. It doesn't. But you get the feeling that at any moment it could. The really good, really strong flavor. In about a minute or two. Will completely dissipate. Like one minute it'll be there. And the next minute it won't be there. And you'll be just chewing. Seriously, it feels like... It feels like a little bit more fluid. Remember those little soda bottles? Those wax soda bottles you bite or rip the end off? And it had like fluid in it? The candy? Like really cheap candy? Like looking back on it 40 years later, you're going, what were we doing? Kids would chew that wax. I probably did too. It's like that, only a little bit more fluid. And the flavor's going right now. And now the wax is toughening up. And now I will blow a bubble. But you can't blow bubbles with it. And there's a reason for that. And most of you have already guessed what that reason is. That's because this is not bubble gum. This is reformatted, repackaged chewing gum. Um, now, I'm not saying that the Irish hubba Bubba is pulling a fast one on this whole brand line. A few weeks ago when I did the original or the regular bubblegum, that was bubblegum. It, it didn't have any dye. It was basically completely white. But that was actually bubblegum. This is not bubblegum. This is chewing gum. And with those little red dots, I immediately checked to see if Mars Wrigley were the makers of Trident. Because Trident, especially their dessert flavors, has flavor crystals or flavor whatever that look like that. So I was like, but they don't make Trident. I forget who does, but Trident is not made by them. But Mars Wrigley UK or Ireland does make Orbit. 
chewing gum. And Orbit chewing gum in the UK does have a strawberry flavor. Unfortunately, multiple times now I have gone to try to look what the product actually looks like and I have scrolled through literally hundreds of Orbit packages of strawberry gum, but nobody ever actually shows the gum. So I don't know what it looks like. I still don't know, but I will tell you this definitively, not a question in my mind, no hesitation, this is chewing gum that is being put forth like bubble gum. Is it good? Yeah, it's real good for about four minutes. And then it's not. It's real good until it isn't, basically. Um, Flavor-wise, it's real good. Feels a little weird in the mouth. If you could blow bubbles with it and it was legitimately bubblegum, I would, you know, the, the waxy aspect I could look past. The flavor dying early I could look past. But that with the fact that this is chewing gum that they have decided to put into that shape and then this packaging, that's a little bit much. So this will not be going in the Amazon storefront. Uh, it is expensive anyway due to the shipping. And you have to buy, the problem with this when you're getting from like an overseas market is you don't buy one pack. So I bought a store display box of, I think, 18 packs. Did I use them? Yes, I did. But I'm throwing five of these in at a time. I will say this for it. When it goes neutral slash dead flavor-wise when one or two pieces, you can throw a third in and it will sort of reinvigorate the whole amount which really doesn't work with a lot of bubblegum products. It should, but it doesn't. It should in my mind, but it doesn't. Um, so it has that going for it. It has really, really good flavor and interesting flavor for the first couple minutes. But then, then it doesn't. So, you know, um, for those actually in the UK, you know, I, I'd give it a try. I mean, if you can buy, like, a single pack and it's not, like, you know, costing, like, two pounds, yeah. I mean, if you like strawberry, it's interesting. It's an interesting take on strawberry. But for Americans, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go and buy 18 packs of this in a box. And, again, that's why it will not be in the Amazon storefront. Anyway, this has been my review of Hubba Bubba's Seriously Strawberry UK Market Bubble Gum. I am the Soon Tide but you guy. I do hope you all are well. Thank you for watching the monetized content. Greatly appreciated. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.